for joining us today on Living It Up, Making Life Juicy. I am Ingrid Guthrie, and I have an extra special guest here today. Her name is Akasha Babos, and she is a multi-talented lady. <laughs> and <laughs> thank you for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me, Ingrid. Yes. Um, okay, so you are a metaphysician, metaphysical person, a um, empath. Yes. And you work in the medical field. Yes, I do. I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> and you're a hypnotherapist. Yes, I do. I do. And I'm also a somata respiratory integration therapist for Which, awake wellness. <laughs> we'll get into that later yeah. in a little bit. But first explain how you got into all of this because these are really masterful things that you do. Oh, that's very kind of you to say. Um, I became very ill in 2008 personally. I had to have a very emergency surgery mm -hmm. and um, became quite ill, almost died, became within about an hour of dying. Oh my God. And I was given not a lot of hope by Western medicine and they told me I would be in a whole heck of a lot of pain for the rest of my life. What was the problem? I had some scar you... tissue which blocked up my uh, lower uh, colon and everything and so what happened was I came very close to dying from the oh, scar no. tissue and it caused fibromyalgia and exponential issues mm. so I became a pain medicine person yeah. which is not something the holistic people want to admit um, however it's something that's in my past I'm now off every kind of pain medication due to energy work Remarkable. It's been something. It's been quite a journey. Um, so you're also a Reiki master. Yes. You just like it just keeps coming and coming. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, explain about explain about the hypnotherapy. Explain. I don't know. Explain it all. Wow. Well, <laughs> I got into doing the energy work to heal myself. Right. I when I realized that Western medicine would avail me nothing. I started really studying energy and prana, and I started studying the chi energy in the body. Explain prana for uh, those who don't know what that is. Prana, for those who don't know, is the actual energy in your body. We are electricity. We are energy, something that mm -hmm. can never be destroyed, something that will go on for and ever. We are actually immortals in a mortal body. Yes. We are. So tapping into that chi, that immortal energy, is something that we can do as metaphysical people, just as creators. We are creators. Mm -hmm. And so we're allowed to reinvent ourselves, re-energize and revitalize ourselves with this energy. And that's something that I locked into doing a lot of reading while I was ill. Yeah. And just through my studies as a metaphysical person, I my background it. was in that. So. Mm -hmm. It was a natural go-to. That's awesome. And then um, uh, explain being being empathic. Mm. I have. That's the toffee. That's a toffee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know that kind of comes from my childhood. I I grew up being able to kind of latch into what was going on with people. I would be able to feel what another was feeling. Uh, a lot of times when we have clients and they're going through something, I can kind of see what's going on. I can feel the heat signatures coming off of their bodies when they're speaking to me. Sometimes to my own eyes, it will appear like soot coming out of their mouth. Oh yes. Like a negative energy or a negative part of themselves is being kind of dispelled. Uh-huh. It's really in after you do the work. After we do the work, as For they're leaving. processing, yes. as they are processing and so working cool. through their stages, it's amazing to me and ever surprising, ever wow. surprising what the human body can tell you if you're able to see it. Yeah. You know? That's so great. And or if you want to see it, I think everybody. We're can all becoming see more it, aware yes. now because we're in this new paradigm and part of awake. Yeah. Wake's message is that we are in a new paradigm. We're in a whole new world, regardless of mm -hmm. what the media is telling That's us, right. probably. Well, they just want to keep us back. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're playing a three-dimensional game in a five-dimensional world, yes. really. You know, so yes. as we see our patients becoming more and more aware, 
this processing comes through and they are telling us what their body is doing. We watch the accentuations in their bodies and can tell a lot. That is fascinating. Later, we'll be doing, you'll be doing some of this with me, right? Absolutely, absolutely, we will. I'm going to show you how to relax and get in touch with yourself. <laughs> That's good, because I always go through stage fright <laughs> getting ready for this show. Um, anyway, um, so now let's talk about the somato-respiratory integration. Mm, okay. Well, the somato-respiratory integration is an exercise that we teach our clients um, that allows them to become participants in their own healing. So what we do is teach them a, a breathing exercise which includes focus. The Samadhi Respiratory Wave primarily is an energy wave uh -huh. that we use that goes through our body and we use the breath to pinpoint and focus areas of stress and pain and any kind of dis-ease mm -hmm. in the body, be it physical, emotional, spiritual, it can be breathed, you can breathe into that area. It's like quantum physics. That bra I breath wave that. moves into <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. And if it's focused and our attention is on it, it's like that slit wave theory. If you pay attention to it, yes. it does something a yes. little different than what it would do on its own. Yes. Or it so exists, and if you don't pay attention to it, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> right up my alley. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So, um, now I was watching a video that you had sent me, a, a YouTube video about this, and the person who was administering this treatment was doing something that looked like he was threading a needle through mm. the person's yes. neck, even though there was no physical needle, there wasn't any, you know, it was just like a slight touching and then releasing. Is that? Network spinal analysis is a fascinating, fascinating study. Um, oh, so that's what that was. That's what that is. Say that again. Network spinal <laughs> analysis. Okay. And this is something that the general public has probably not heard of. It is created by Dr. Brian Epstein, and he only teaches it to chiropractic doctors. So if someone says they're doing network spinal analysis and they're not a doctor, uh -huh. they're not doing this. Okay. Okay. Um, what they do is work with neural gateways in the body, in the spine, and they open them up using energy, very, very advanced, gentle touch uh -huh. manipulations. So they're not like right, cracking right. you because a lot of times that causes a lot of uh, compression and stress to the spine. Well, plus it's shocking. I it's mean, very shocking to the body. Yeah, not that I don't love chiropractors, I do, but... Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's just a different. It's a very it's different, a different modality. Way of approaching things, mm -hmm. yes. Um, so now, will you be doing any of that, or no? You'll be doing. I do not do network spinal analysis because I am not a chiropractor. Okay. Dr. Karen Shellac okay. is our network spinal analysis, our network chiropractor. Okay. She is from Sedona, Arizona. Moved nice. her practice out here to New Jersey, and one would ask why. <laughs> Why would you leave Sedona, Arizona to come uh -huh. to New Jersey? But uh -huh. she came out here for family, but we are the benefactors because this is the epicenter of stress. Yes. And if we can have somebody like that or that kind of treatment out here, that would be a sincere blessing in our world. Uh -huh. So it's Sedona of the East. The Sedona of the East. I love that. I like it too because we honestly are trying to bring what is so, so needed into this area. The West seems to have it kind of going on in that direction. Well, they're all kind of laid back. They're kind of laid back. At least they present themselves. As it, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, and yeah, here, like, like now that we're close to like Philadelphia and New York City, everybody's like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of mm -hmm. <laughs> Exactly. So we need a Sedona of the East nearby. Well, we're creating a wellness center. Right now, we are focusing on the chiropractics and the hypnotherapy, but at some juncture, we're trying to bring in different and new things. So we're going to be bringing in a whole plethora of different 
type of practitioners, acupuncturist, acupressurist. Beautiful. So we are just now opening in the Marlton area. Our main office is in Marlton. Uh -huh. And we have another, um, we have another uh, service location in Morristown where I do private hypnotherapy sessions. And we do group also hypnotherapy sessions in the Marlton office as well. We're right on Route 73. Group sessions. So yes. We two offices. We do. We're just starting two. Okay. And the phone number that's included on the screen um, is for both offices. Yes. So, I mean, it just goes direct. Exactly. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as so, when you're doing hypnotherapy, what is the most popular um, need that people have? What do they come in with saying? you know, get rid of this for me. Wow, we have <laughs> such a plethora of different things. I would say that one of the big things that we deal with is stress. Okay. We live in an extremely stressful world. Mm -hmm. um, people are very per performance uh, anxious. Mm -hmm. We are very uptight about taking tests. Children oh have issues oh, yeah. taking tests. We put a lot of pressure on our kids. Weight loss right now is mm -hmm. a huge issue, you know. We use it for immune, autoimmune issues, people with fibromyalgia. I have personally cured myself of fibromyalgia with my own self-hypnosis. Wow. And I am a firm believer that once you get past that gatekeeper and get into the subconscious, miracles can happen. And I am often saying that you know, the subconscious is the door, but hypnotherapy truly is the key to getting into healing. That's amazing. We carry an awful lot consciously. We carry a lot of anger with us, and that can poison our bodies. Yes. And a lot of us are chagrined to let go of it. Yes, and I think we carry an awful lot unconsciously, subconsciously. Subconsciously, we do. And even on our conscious levels, we will admit that we, we're angry, we're seething, we're going through stress, but... For some reason, we need that. We feel we need to hang on to it because we're very self-righteous about it, or we feel that it validates us in some way, or that it is just who we are, or we're willing to accept that, but it's not part of a healing modality. No. No. And it's certainly not part of <laughs> peace and happiness. No. We're about being heart-centered and loving, yeah. and this is what we need in this world today. Yeah. That's old paradigm thinking, all that stress. It really is. Mm-hmm. I love it. So um, explain how you would go into a um, hypnotherapy session. How would you, how does that work? Well, what we do is we have people come in for a initial consultation and we ask them basically what they want to accomplish for themselves what they want to do here um, are they looking to feel better about themselves are they looking for self-esteem a lot of people are dealing with so much baggage do they want to let go yes but does it serve them anymore? Does it make you feel good to carry all that baggage around with you? Doesn't it get heavy after a Has while? Has it ever served you? Has it ever <laughs> served you? Let it go. How's we can let that go. Yeah. yeah, how's that working out for you, huh? Yeah. You know? Getting tired of slugging that stuff around? Yeah. You want to let it go? We can help you. We can help you. But you have to be willing. Anyone can be hypnotized if you are able to focus, concentrate, and allow. And then, so would you, um, so the person would either sit or lie down, like technically we, what would you? Technically what we do is we have like a lazy boy, mm -hmm. and we take a, we do an intake interview and find out a little bit about their background and what they wish to accomplish, and I use neuro-linguistic programming, uh, which allows me to create anchors and scenarios that are happy for them, that they can link to that they can use physical cues that they can go back to simply sometimes going like this oh, nice. creating a happy memory that's associated with this so i'm in a stressful situation i go like this ah oh, all of a sudden my stress has melted away so, so it's kind of like a positive it's trigger it's a positive instead of a trigger. Negative trigger exactly we've got enough negative triggers yeah. going on all you have to do is turn on the tv <laughs> a lot okay. of times you know put on the news yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then where does, now, does the Samada Respiratory Integration work 
with this? It can and absolutely should. Um, a lot of times Dr. Shellac and I do work hand in hand. Sometimes we do share clients, um, but it's not necessarily needed to be that way. Mm -hmm. um, I will teach a lot of my hypnotherapy clients the somata respiratory integration because just breathing, learning to breathe into your body can relax you. Mm -hmm. It can allow you to become more centered. It can allow you to become more grounded. Yes. And just being able to take that deep cleansing breath relaxes you, gets you ready. So when I get my clients into the chair, I ask them to take some good deep cleansing breaths and that becomes the beginning of their session. So breath and cleanness and being centered, it all seems to come full yes. circle. Yeah. And then, so the, I need my glasses for this. <laughs> <laughs> so the network spinal analysis. Let's go a little deeper into that, if you will, please. Sure, absolutely. Uh, as I said earlier, Brian, Dr. Brian Epstein created network spinal analysis. And what he believes is that we are reorganizing the neurological system into new patterns. A lot of times, we only breathe, say, from here to here on the spine. When we do network spinal analysis and Dr. Shellac goes in and opens neural gateways in the body, like you said, just like looking like she's threading a needle and she's yeah. like, boom, touches you and moves this energy this way so it's energy movement it's somebody's it's a doctor's real knowledge of the neural gateways in the body she's been specifically trained to be able to open those up and then the breath moves in an amazing amazing way you can actually watch the spine and we're going to show a demonstration of that we have a wonderful demonstration oh, the, video, the yes. video showing yeah. uh, Dr. Dominic Samora another network spinal analysis doctor uh, who has this and we have the video as well mm -hmm. showing this incredible brain breath wave it is impressive when you oxygenate the body and when you realign the spine your electrical system actually moves and your it you actually work effectively your mind is much more active, your body is much more active, you're far more vital. We have a lot of clients that come in, husband and wife, and they work together. A lot of times if, say, one is coming in and the other's coming in and the other's like, oh, full of energy, and the other one's like, oh, I can't keep up. Yeah. We, we suggest a lot of times that the husband and wives come in together because they've got it all going on together. That's so fun. It's and great. Then, yeah. Boy, talk about, that's a really good, like, marriage therapy kind of thing you know I go with my husband right I go with my husband and he came date night <laughs> <laughs> it is a Friday night surprisingly <laughs> that's right I love it he came in with emergent care his lower back was all messed up uh, and my husband is an extremely analytical character this is not he's not somebody that would naturally go to a holistic person uh -huh. And this analytical guy <laughs> came in to a holistic studio and his pain level went from, say, an eight or nine to a two. Oh, that's amazing. So that was enough to impress him. Wow. Yeah. And then how many sessions would you, are typical? It's very, very individual. Now, he got relief in the first session. Does Which he is, have to go back? Did he, he did, yes. We suggest that people take care of their bodies on a regular basis rather than waiting necessary. until there's emergent care. Come in and get some real care. Stay on top of your body. Stay on top of what feels right yeah. rather than letting it go to a, a point where you're in need of emergent care. Right. So say I came in just for um, stress reduction. Um, and it was kind of at a level of, let's say, seven or eight. It would, it How would many sessions would you 
that's a very difficult thing to ascertain, I'm quite sorry, honestly. Just, I keep trying to go no, fish for I, an answer. <laughs> no, I do understand, because, but it's highly, highly specific to you, because there could be so many underlying things oh, right, that are going on right. that are exacerbating this. There could be so many things that you could be working through, emotional things that can be, surprisingly enough, affecting your body. We don't yeah. think about it that way but it does in fact affect our bodies. Mm -hmm. You could be going through a, a tremendous loss that has put your body into a pain pattern mm -hmm. because we go into a fight or flight mode where, when we're or stressed out and we <laughs> freeze. Yeah, yeah. And our body builds up cages literally around these pains that Dr. Schlack works through and sometimes they will break quickly, sometimes it takes more work. It really is very, very individual. Yes, I can. Oh, it's I very, very different. They can't really put. Now, hypnotherapy is another thing entirely. With hypnotherapy, it has been studied that you can probably get as much work done in six sessions with 93% success rate than you can with traditional psychotherapy in about 600 sessions with about. 68% oh wow success oh, rate wow. <laughs> yeah I know try that one on for size <laughs> it kind of even blew my mind when I found that one out because I have seen tremendous successes but I wasn't really aware that it was that staggering of yeah. a statistic so you mean all those years in therapy, I could have just, <laughs> I just could have just come on <laughs> over. <honey. laughs> oh my goodness! So and then with this, um, with the Reiki, then do mm. you do you practice at, at that center as well, or is this an individual thing that you do? Um. I have done it individually. Okay. I use Reiki techniques sometimes with certain patients if they're interested. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when um, Dr. Shellac is doing network spinal analysis, she asks me to come in and be an additional surrogate contact. So sometimes we need to have additional contacts on the body. The body is an electrical system. Right. So what we need to have is connectivity. So sometimes if she's working on something and she needs another hand to get connectivity, mm -hmm. she asks me to come in and do it. So we form a complete cycle or circle, circle right. of connectivity. So sometimes it does take another person to come in and do that. It sounds a little odd, but amazingly, amazingly successful. And then there was something you were telling me in our phone conversation the other mm -hmm. day where if somebody cannot get touched, then you can come in also as yes. kind of a surrogate patient or a representative yes. of that patient. I actually have done that for my husband. My husband, my husband was having really, really exceptional pain, and because he was having a difficult time getting in the position that the doctor wanted him into, the doctor called me in to be on the table because I'm an empath. Mm -hmm. I was able to feel his pain. I embodied it. Her work on my energy allowed his body to relax. He wow. didn't feel guarded. I was able to feel unguarded. Uh -huh. And so she was able to work on me and I served as a surrogate energetically for him. Sounds a little woo-woo, but it actually works. I love it. <laughs> now tell me, so did he, was he, could he feel it? He felt the after effects. He's not somebody that How great is, is, this? is able to really lock into that on, on a conscious level, mm -hmm. but his body sure showed the results. Oh, that's so fascinating. It really is. It's an ever increasingly and amazingly fascinating thing to me. Okay. I love watching her work. Oh, so we have about five more minutes. Let's do some breath work. All right. I'm going to teach you somata respiratory okay. integration technique okay. that we teach all of our clients. We do 12 stages of healing, and with each stage comes very, very different exercises. So I'm going to teach you what we teach our clients first off. Okay. We have three different areas of the body. Up, This is our number one area, the heart chakra, the sternum area, and on the navel. So what we do is we 
put our hands like this because right here are neurological transmitters and receivers. Right in the palm. Right in the palms of our hands. Right here. Hand. Everything exists right here. So what we do is we cradle our hands. Does it matter like which one's on top? No, it does not. Okay. We put our hands here and we rest our elbows because if we have our elbows out, it accentuates bad feelings if they're bad feelings. So what we want to do is just lock in, close our eyes and breathe in through our nose and release. In through our nose and release. And then we move our hands to our sternum and we always breathe from that area of the body, breathing in through our nose and gently releasing. And once more, connecting and breathing in and releasing. And then we put our hands over the navel area, breathing in through our nose and gently releasing and perceiving once more into our nose and out. And what we do is ascertain where we breathe the most easily from one, two, or three. So if that, generally speaking, is number one. So what we do is we breathe two here, mm -hmm. breathe in twice, and then we move to the most second comfortable area, which might be here, once, and then we re-anchor on the comfortable area twice. And then we do three rounds of that. Now, if that doesn't bring you down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, makes you nice. nice and mellow. Yeah. <laughs> and that progresses and we it. go through and do an awful lot more. That that is just the rank beginnings of it all. Wow. There's so much more. Wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, so uh, later in about... Uh, I think in a little bit, in a couple minutes, they'll be showing the video of the um, uh, NSA. Is that right? The yes, the network spinal analysis or the but somato. But not that NSA. It's no, the no, no, NSA. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, but it is. Leave it all it's alone. the somato <laughs> breath wave. The somatic breath wave. It shows an open breath wave of the body, and it shows the neurological gateway rather than breathing just from here to here breathing the entire length of the spine and oxygenating and really bringing wellness to the body. That's beautiful. I know in the um, video that we'll be showing soon, there's the patient is having pain in the neck. Yes. And also pain in the... In the lumbar area. Right. Mm -hmm. And then so it shows in color, in yes. red, where yes. the soreness is. Mm -hmm. And then as, as the wave starts happening, mm -hmm. which is all completely natural, right? It's the body's Entirely natural. Entirely natural. We are very self-adjusting individuals. When Dr. Shellac or any network chiropractor goes in and opens, they remind the body primarily to do its job. And so we are actually self-adjusting as long as our neurological centers are engaged. Yeah. Mm -hmm from a tactile point of view and from a energetic point of view with her expertise it can happen whether people are open to it or not Doesn't i mean your matter. husband wasn't really open uh, listen we've so had much plenty of them come in that are like <laughs> i have no idea what you're doing but this is working and it feels great yay yeah <laughs> it doesn't matter you yeah. don't have to have a belief system you don't have to understand holistics you just have to let it happen yeah and be open Lovely. So we have about another minute, and um, well, let's let's demonstrate the breath work again. Sure. For the audience, for you guys. Make sure that you have connectivity. You have your hands palm on palm. Keep your fingers closed because we are an electrical system, and so connectivity is everything. So we're going to breathe in and release gently. And once more in through your nose and out through your mouth. And what a great voice she has, right? Hypnotist. Hypnotherapy, <laughs> yes. I can speak. <laughs> and we'll move to the second one. Breathing in through your nose. 
and release. Once more, and release, and down to the navel area. Breathing in through your nose, and release. Perceiving and receiving information about your health and your body. Love it. I love it. <laughs> Good stuff. So, Akasha Babas, thank you so much for joining me thank today. Thank you, Ingrid, and I really appreciate the opportunity to get to explain yeah. such a wonderful, wonderful thing to you. It is. And share it with your audience. Yeah, such a lovely lady, inside and out. <laughs> and um, I've got to get up and get me some of this, that's mm -hmm. for sure. And I know a lot of people who could absolutely use this. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs>